Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the Windows Update functionality is not working properly on your Windows 7 computer. So this fix will also apply for Windows 10 devices and Windows 8 as well. But since we're on a Windows 7 machine, that's why we're going to be doing this tutorial today. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the Star menu and you want to type in Services. One of the matches underneath programs should say services here, just the word services. You want to left click on that. Should be a little gear icon next to it as well on that star menu entry. And you want to expand the view here by clicking the little arrow or the corner here and just making it a little bit wider. And I'm going to go down and first select the background intelligence transfer service here and I'm going to double click on it. So on here I'm going to go down and left click on the stop button. You can also left click on stop on the left side as well. Okay, so the first thing you want to look for here is the background intelligence transfer service. Left click on the stop the service button right up here on the left. And you also want to double click on it and you want to make sure startup type is either set to automatic or automatic delayed start. So basically we're just stopping the service right now, but it should turn on when our computer turns back on. That's important because if the startup type is set to disabled, it's still going to be disabled when we restart our computer. And you want to also go down to the Windows Update service down here as well. Double click on it. Make sure startup type is set to automatic or automatic delayed start. But you want to make sure service status again is set to stop. So you want to stop the service if it's not already. And like we did in the beginning, you could left click on stop up here if it was already running. Once you've done that, we're going to close out of here. And we're going to open up the start menu and you want to type in computer. One of the best managers should just say computer. Left click on that. Now you want to go underneath whatever hard disk Windows is installed on. There should be a little icon of a Windows above a hard disk icon and for most people it should say the local disk. You want to double click on it. And now you want to double click on Windows. Now you want to scroll down here until you get to software distribution. Double click on that. Now anything listed in here we want to just highlight over. So hold down the left mouse pointer on your clicker. Drag over all of the entries in here and then right click and delete or you can left click on delete on your keyboard as well if you prefer to do that method. So it's going to ask you sure you want to move these items to the recycling bin. Left click on yes. All we're doing here is just basically deleting the Windows Update cache. So back up copies of the Windows updates that are no longer necessary. And it should actually free up a little bit of space on our computer as well. So what I'd recommend doing at this point is restarting your computer and then attempt to relaunch the Windows Update utility and hopefully you should be able to download and install the updates you were having problems with beforehand. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.